So we're going to look at a slightly more complicated example here. We want to find this area, okay? So this shaded area. Now we know that the curve uh, y is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 32 is intersecting here with y is equal to 20, okay? So we know that these points are when y is 20. So we need to find the x coordinates. So we're going to put this equal to 20 to determine where those points are. So we would first put x squared minus 8x plus 32 equals to 20. Then we can take 20 from both sides. And this gives us a quadratic that factorizes. Okay, so we have, uh, what have we got? So two numbers that multiply together make 12, but add together make minus 8 is minus 6 and minus 2. And so we're going to have x equals 2 or 6 from this equation. So this point is x is 2, and this point is x is 6. OK? So we now have a start on where we can go with this, because we could integrate x squared minus 8x plus 32 between 2 and 6. But remember that that gives us the area uh, between the curve and the x-axis. So that will actually give us this area here. Not the area that we're actually looking for, but it will give us that blue area. So let's do that. So we're going to add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Uh, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, we're going to have minus 4x squared. And then we're going to have plus 32x, and we're going to evaluate that between 2 and 6. So if we substitute in 6 first, okay, we've got 6 cubed divided by 3, so 72. Uh, then we've got 4 take away 6 squared, so take away 144, plus 32 times 6, so 192. Then take away uh, 2 cubed over 3, so 8 thirds. Uh, 4 times 2 squared, so 16, so take away 16, and then 32 times 2, so 64. Okay, so we have 72, take away 144, plus 192, that gets me 120 in the first bracket. Then I've got 8 thirds, take away 16, plus 64 in the second bracket, so take away 152 over 3. So 120, take away that is 208 over 3. So that is the area of the blue region. Okay, That's the bit in blue. So it's not quite the bit I want. What I want is the shaded area here. So if I work out the area of that rectangle and then take away the, air, the blue area, I'm going to be left with the bit that I want. So the area that I want is the area of the rectangle, which is 4 times 20, so 4 by 20, take away the blue area, so 208 over 3, so 4 times 20, take away 208 over 3, gets me 32 over 3. So that is the area that I'm looking for.